Hi, today in the Idea6 software video, we're going to look at um, a brief overview of content. Um, I will do individual videos of content um, as well. Uh, so this is just a just a generalized overview of uh, what to expect. Um, so we'll jump right in. Um, I've created a content loop uh, campaign and program, and I've also done a demand uh, campaign and program just to show you some slight differences in a couple of areas. Um, so the on-demand stuff is interactive, whereas the loop stuff is only minimal inter interactivity. Um, I'll explain that in a minute. Um, so we go to our layout, and if we start with this video, now once you click on the type of content you want, you need to go straight into the window to create that content. Um, if you go outside of that area, then you lose that um, click, I guess. Um, so you'll see here if I click on video when I go straight in there's a crosshair there which I can then use to create a box um, if I click on image same thing but if I click on image again and then go outside you'll see the crosshair inside but as soon as I go outside of that area I lose that crosshair and disappears so I have to actually click on image again for that to come back if you click on something twice you'll enable it and then Dis disable it so you'll find that it won't be there when you try to add it. So I'm just going to add a different one of each type of content. Um, so we've got video image, text box, RSS feed. Uh, hybrid is something where you can mix both videos and images. Um, so you can have both different types of content in that one box. Um, time you get an option for date clock week um, so depending on what part of the time you want to see uh, if you want all three then you have to create three different text boxes and you'll see when you highlight them that there's a different format uh, depending on your preference so if we went with the normal uh, kiwi format um, and then we went with clock week and then under weather you've got similar you've got a weather text temperature icon and weather title now the weather is a little bit more complicated than some of the others um, but you'll see that essentially you do the same sorts of things with a box which if you accidentally make a small box you can increase it like that. Um, logo is really just a smaller version of an image. Um, and then you've got your web pages or web interactivity. Video in um, utilizes the HDMI input on the screen so that you can have a um, live video playing with it could be a uh, HDMI camera or it could be a um, DVD player playing something within that box. Um, and then you've got camera which is also used um, uses the same input so you can only have one or the other you can't have both and then you've got an IP stream which could be a network stream within your um, uh, network uh, that can be streamed directly onto the uh, panel um, now you'll see down at the bottom here there's under IP stream there's an advanced and then you've got the no demand so depending on which um, content type you click on uh, the advanced box disappears depending on whether there are any advanced um, options or not um, now this box here is the bit that enters it into the demand um, functionality or full screens so no demand is uh, self-explanatory um, enter demand means that it will enter the on-demand um, campaign at the start of the campaign or the first program map to demand means that it will actually map to the same positioned program within the on-demand campaign so if you have a loop campaign and a demand campaign that are working together then program two on the loop campaign will directly correspond to program two on the demand campaign so when you click that it will map to the exact same program as um, as itself in the demand if that makes sense 
Um, full screen self-explanatory, if you have a video you can full screen it by, by touching the video if you um, enable this option or start an app. Um, now if we go to uh, text you'll see an advanced option and within the advanced option you have then your background colour, your foreground colour, you can change your font, you can decide on whether the direction is from left to right or right to left. Um, if you're just having a single line uh, text box then you can choose to display by line, you can step to the left which is scrolling um, left uh, to the left or stillness where it's just text by itself, it's not moving. Um, and then if you have multi-line, you can do by page, step to the top and stillness as well. So um, you'll have to have a bit of a play with those options to figure them out, but we'll have a look at that uh, further um, video. Um, in our RSS feed, you also have a similar um, text box. Um, under hybrid, nothing. Under your time, then you can look at whether you're a center aligning uh, left or right, uh, your font type, um, whether it's in color, um, and you can go back to choosing your uh, style. Um, under logo, there's nothing. Under web, you've got advanced, or whether you have the toolbar on or off, and the position that it defaults to, and the size of those icons. Now, those icons are a home button, um, a back button, and then there's four arrow keys to be able to move that text box to a different part of the window depending on whether it's in the way of what you're trying to access or not. Um, and then Video Win has an auto scale and a playtime and IP streaming has all your uh, streaming um, protocols and uh, URL um, etc etc that you enter into there. Um, We'll just save that briefly and we'll go across to uh, demand and we go to the layout and we enter in an image box. Um, you'll see from the image box under demand options there are actually a few more now which is a slide with no on-screen display arrows or a slide with on-screen display arrows. Um, so that'll put arrows either side so you can actually control the slide um, by clicking on the arrow. The no on-screen arrows gives you a slideshow that you can interact with by swiping left or right to change the picture. Um, and then you've got your full screen back and exit. So exit will exit out of that particular demand and it back into the original um, demand that you've played. Um, so that gives you the dif differences between the uh, on-demand and the looping programs. There's just a couple of extra demand um, functionality. And when you go into the content um, of the loop campaign that we set up here, um, you'll notice that some of them don't come up with any interaction um, box. So that's the IP stream, uh, video in, the time and the weather. Um, they're all controlled by the information that you've put into the layout side of things or in the case of the time and the weather, um, they default back to the time that's put into the display itself and the weather is um, handled separately by the area that you've put in for the display to be um, situated. Um, the rest of them all have an area for you to then enter what videos or pictures um, or text etc that you want to enter in there which will go into more detail in the individual um, videos. Um, so all of these have an area where you can enter a picture or text or uh, whatever. So in, in the case of a URL um, for a web page, you can enter that here as well. And that's all there really is to the types of content. Um, 